A disciplined man, a one seeking a better life, is one who is a delighting man. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. I think what God is doing is he's actually placing in you certain desires, certain desires. One commentator says this, one who delights in him will have righteous desires. Beware that thou forget not the Lord thy God in not keeping his commandments and his judgments and his statutes which I command thee this day. So beware of this. We want to delight. We want to bring these things to our remembrance. Why? He says, lest when thou hast eaten and art full and hast built goodly houses and dwelt therein, and when thy herds and thy flocks multiply and thy silver and gold is multiplied and all that thou hast is multiplied, then thine heart be lifted up and forget the Lord thy God which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. See, here's the picture is what's happening here. Guys, here's what's happening is when we forget the law of the Lord, after we prosper, then our heart is lifted up and we forget about God. Our delight should be in the law of the Lord. A deliberate delighter is where you want to be in your life. Deliberately delighting. And if you're not a deliberate delighter, you'll be a fatal forgetter. You have to be deliberate in your delighting.